We're just playing a few minutes from last Friday when we launched this new two-week contest uh, that only has like another week or so to go for you to go out, sh post the posters, shoot the video, post it on YouTube to hopefully spur other people to realize that there is a public stand-down going on by Obama and the CDC. Now Senator Ted Cruz has come out joining Governor Jindal from two weeks ago, as well as the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, saying they should restrict flights out of Ebola-stricken countries and should stop giving visas to non-U.S. citizens to come here. An absolute no-brainer. The Caribbean islands are doing it. Central and South America are doing it. African nations bordering these countries are doing it. Italy's doing it. England's doing it. The U.K., France, but not the United States because it's a religion. As Michael Savage said here on air last week, it doesn't matter if other countries can have borders. The United States cannot. There can never be the idea that a border or uh, a nation being for citizens who pay the taxes, that cannot exist. Now, let's go over the huge stack of breaking Ebola news to give you the latest on what's happening. Associated Press reports Ebola escalation could trigger major food crisis. The global famine warning system is predicting a major food crisis of the Ebola outbreak continues to grow exponentially over the coming months, and the United Nations still hasn't uh, reached over 750,000 people in need of food in West Africa who are without food as prices spiral and farms are abandoned. On the eve of the World Food Day Thursday, the UN agencies and non-governmental organizations are scrambling to scale up efforts to avert widespread hunger. The UN goes around with policies to shut down food production worldwide. Then they use the famines and wars they stir up on record to then get all the young women mainly to go give money to UNICEF. That's the news behind the news, the story behind the story. Another report out of CBS News, DFW Airport contractor forced to remove mask and gloves. That's why you've got uh, protests going on and strikes for two and a half weeks in New York and other cities as the people that are supposed to be cleaning the aircraft are told that they can't wear masks and gloves, aircraft coming in out of West Africa, in some cases with vomit in them, because it'll, quote, scare people. We're going to get to those articles in a moment. Experts offer steps for avoiding public hysteria, a different contagious threat. So we've been talking about the hysteria being a bigger problem than Ebola itself. Well, now the New York Times is reporting on it. Today, here is another one that's uh, very important. CDC, Ebola patient traveled by air with low-grade fever. They'd first said that it was her fault and she shouldn't have done it, but now it's admitted in NBC News that Ebola patient who con contacted the CDC before flight agency says was told that she could fly even though she was an Ebola nurse and even though she told him she had a fever. Hell, by the way, I treated the guy that has Ebola, and I'm sick. Can I fly? That's like saying, my dog has rabies and is foaming at the mouth. Should I put it into a schoolyard of kids? Yes, put the dog with rabies into the schoolyard. Or, I found a bat crawling around hissing on the ground. Should I pick it up and kiss it? Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, there's a cliff by my house, a thousand feet to a jagged bottom. Should I jump off without a parachute? Yes, jump off immediately. Ring. Hi, I'm a nurse that treated the Ebola patient, CDC. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, we know who you are. Yeah, you're all over the news. Yeah, um, I'm going to fly. Of course, this time wasn't on the news. Just been around an Ebola patient. So I, I was treating an Ebola patient. I'm going to fly. I have a fever. Oh, but dearie, that's a great idea. They're not just turning off the defaults. They're sending the Ebola kids to school. They're not cleaning up the apartment. Something weird is going on. And why are nurses getting it, but the family isn't getting it? Either they're covering up that they have it, or it's what that CIA whistleblower said back in the middle of last month here, Mr. Steele. Maybe we should cue that clip up later. 
he said he believed they would release a biological simulant that wasn't Ebola, but would make people sick or even kill them to create a false flag. That's what he said on air two weeks before this Ebola thing even broke or even started. And I'm not saying this isn't real. You got a lot of deaths in Africa, over 4,000. You've got hundreds of thousands that have gotten it, uh, who may end up dying from it. You've got UN models of 1.4 million dying or getting it. I don't know what the truth is, but if you've got a global system caught staging hoaxes or creating Al-Qaeda and changing the name and having them attack countries and when the public finds out, changing the name again and then you know the Kurds call for support against them so you bomb the Kurds instead. I mean, this is all happening because of public ignorance. The establishment thinks they can do whatever they want. And beyond public ignorance, this is all happening Because even if we're awake, the system runs the courts, they run most of the legislative systems, they run the investigative systems, they run the so-called security apparatus, and so they're above the law. But see, when elites get above the law, they always bring the law of nature into play. They become delusional, they go too far, just like criminals do, and they end up destroying their own system or destroying themselves or being self-destructive. Most psychopaths are very, very meticulous and maybe commit one murder a year for 15, 20 years. Then they start committing two or three murders a year for a couple years. Then suddenly four or five murders a year. Then they'll kill three or four people in a week. And they'll start dumping dead bodies out in the back of the police station and writing letters taunting the police, wanting to get caught. We're now reaching that point where they openly say on the Council on Foreign Relations, we need to fund al-Qaeda and we are funding al-Qaeda. Where they openly write books admitting they're putting fluoride in the water to brain damage us, the White House science czar. Where they just say two plus two equals five, you didn't build your business, the death panels are wonderful, uh, on and on and on. This is the point that we've now reached with these people. Hi, I'm a nurse that treated the Ebola patient in Dallas. I, I, I'm, I'm sick, but I'd like to fly. Should I? Yes, honey, you go ahead and do that. They tell you don't fly if you've, if you've got a fever, period. Just like the default until six years ago was a pregnant woman never takes the vaccine. It causes miscarriages. It causes neurological disorders in the babies. It's on record. It's on the inserts. Now they say pregnant women need double flu. Take two and take everything else. It's all about, I mean, I hate to get gross here, but you've heard about the phenomenon in government buildings suddenly that people are peeing on the walls and going to the bathroom and cubby holes and in the hallways, even though the bathrooms are working perfectly fine and smearing it all over the walls. This is what mental patients do. This is what people who are above the law start doing is just running around going to the bathroom as poop bandits, as they're known. This is what has now happened. In a decadent society that goes insane, Japan used to be the most clean country in the world, obsessed with cleanliness, obsessed with being honorable. Now Japan has an epidemic of adults, not old people, adults wearing diapers, and the big thing is to go to the bathroom on yourself and uh, they have things that I'm not going to even mention on air that are a phenomenon now. The most popular overall fetish bars in Japan now are, are scatological. And you say, Alex, why are you going here? Well, psychopaths end up killing three people a week when they start falling apart and going off the rails. Not one a year. But the average yuppie trendy just starts wallowing around... Uh, not paying their bills, not working, and uh, wearing adult diapers. It's like uh, Idiocracy that Mike Judge made, genius film that he wrote. In the film, people are so decadent, they think being able to talk is not trendy, so the dumber you are, the cooler you are. And uh, people's easy chairs drive them to the refrigerator so that you don't have to get up off your easy chair and have a toilet in them. Guess what? They've now come out with that. Idiocracy came out, what, 10 years ago? 11 years ago? Now, guess where? Japan is producing easy chairs with toilets in them.
and robots that wipe your hind end. And by the way, I'm not the one focusing in on this. This is not potty humor. I'm not five years old or four years old. This is what's happening. Our civilization is degenerating, and we have this fascist pig mayor down in Houston wanting to arrest preachers that give anti-homosexual sermons. That's where we're going here. We can't stop Ebola, but let me tell you, we can pay for everybody to have a sex change. This is a society about to collapse. Every indicator, every red balloon, every red flag, every yardstick, we are in deep level crisis. <sighs> Let's continue here. 911 emergency dispatchers instructed not to say Ebola over the radio. That's out of Fox News, D.C. They're being told not to create panic and are being given a secret code to describe Ebola. See, the cover-up's already on. As I said, Ebola probably is already spreading in the U.S. Uh, they had to let it in and let it breed first, and, and then they'll not, you know, they'll say they don't know where it all began or where it started, and, oh, it's all Obama's fault. And it's going to bring in a medical tyranny, force inoculation, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation dedicated to population reduction and the Monsanto vaccine they produced. I'm going to say that again. Bill Gates, we keep warning you about, people are like, why do you about Bill Gates so much? Because I've studied him. He wants to put an Ebola shot in you. You think that's going to be good for you? U.S. embassies in Ebola-stricken countries are still processing visas for non-U.S. citizens. That's from Representative Royce of California, chairman of the House Foreign Relations Committee, confirming that. Frontier jet that carried Ebola patient made five more flights after that. Colombia and other Central South American and Caribbean countries ban Ebola flights from Ebola nations. Boehner says travel bans should be considered by president as Ebola crisis worsens. Senator Cruz says they should recall Congress. Think so? Yeah. Recall Congress. Vote on whether to authorize bombing ISIS or not, which you're supposed to do. They haven't done that and vote on this. <sighs> Why no protective gear for man with Dallas Ebola patient? We have video of this. We'll roll some of it in the background. The video from CBS News is up on Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. This lends credence to Rob Dew running around the office thinking this is crisis actors because he's been analyzing video and he's worked at National TV, Home Shopping Network. You know, he's, he used to be a director there. And so he, he knows stage stuff. And uh, he says that, you know, why are people not wearing protective gear uh, with the Ebola patient, uh, as we have right there? Uh, and uh, is it people just don't care and they're idiots? Or is it staged? A lot of people around here think it's something staged. Doesn't mean there's not Ebola out there. It just means, again, you've got a supposed Ebola patient and you've got somebody walking around with him with a clipboard, not even wearing a paper mask. You've got cops out there standing around. And then you've got you know, this individual directing them. I don't know. So uh, fresh Ebola fears hit airline stocks. We've got a bunch of news coming up on that front. Jeremy Renner of Hurt Locker, such a huge star now. Just going back to why I thought Kill the Messenger was so powerful. I knew Gary Webb, never met him in person, but I interviewed him probably 15 or more times. Talked to him on the phone dozens and dozens of times for hours at some point. My wife remembers all this. And when I watched the movie, he talked and acted just like Gary Webb. I mean, he should win an Oscar for this. But if people didn't know Gary Webb, they won't know what a great job Jeremy Renner did. And that's a whole other side issue. I'm getting into Ebola, what's happening in the stock market right now. It's just crazy. And then we've got this all this whistleblower intel coming in. Whistleblowers at Infowars.com. That's whistleblowers with an S at Infowars.com of your nurses, medical workers, military, family that's got military over there, sending 5,000 U.S. troops. Most of them aren't even trained in NBC properly. They're trained how to put on NBC gear, but they're not NBC specialists. 
is a perfect way. And now they've got the Joint Chiefs of Staff saying that they will quarantine U.S. troops when and if they get it. I mean, what a disaster. You don't send soldiers. You send volunteer virologists and epidemiologists to the hot zone. You do not send soldiers unless you're training them for martial law. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'll tell you this. Most of this is staged. It's scripted, and they clearly want Ebola to spread. Now, you can fill in the blank of why. My head is spinning at this point, and I'm trying to contain my anger. Even during the breaks, I'm trying to contain it. Because I think about how they're trying to bring down this country. Now they're trying to kill our prosperity. It makes me angry. And you can see the CDC ignoring their own protocols on purpose. Folks, they wouldn't let people with TB in. They're letting people with Ebola in. CDC says it missed opportunities to contain Ebola. Oh, we're sorry. It's getting out now. Oh, my goodness. That's out of Yahoo News. AP. Nurses, we were told to call authorities for Ebola protocol. You don't take Ebola patients to a regular hospital. The default is you take them to a CDC emergency center. They got 36 of them. That's why Bloomberg two days ago was asking, why weren't they sent to the government facilities that are designed for this? Because they want it to spread. They want plausible deniability. They probably got sleeper cells walking around spreading it. I didn't think they'd use Muslim radicals to bring it in before. I thought that was just some, you know, Islamophobe uh, hype. But now it's starting to click that God only knows. I, I think the other shoe is about to drop. I think something big's about to happen. And I've been saying that for months. And now you see this breaking loose. I think what you're seeing right now might be a diversion for nukes they're about to set off. Remember all the missing nukes? I am literally never have been on spider sense level like this. I have never. And, and I'm not trying to panic people, folks. I'm trying to get you to understand that that you just see all the indicators and the stock market and the government funding Al-Qaeda and trying to start wars with Russia and, and, and raising the taxes to the country shuts down and Obamacare. I mean, it is just, we have enemies in control. There is no doubt that we are in the most grave danger this country has faced in 240 years, and I just got hardcore chills. I got goosebumps on my face right now that the camera can probably pick up. They are getting ready to drop the hammer. This is the takedown of the country. I'm getting my immune system ready. I know that. Infowarslife.com. The Survival Shield X2. Super male, super female vitality. Uh, the oxy powder that flushes out the guts. 70% of the immune system, they say, is in the guts. Uh, the uh, lung cleanse, all of it. That's what I'm doing for me and my family. That's how you support the broadcast. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Stay with us. Second hour coming up. Tell your friends and family, tune in. This isn't a drill. It isn't a game. I've always been, Infowars has always been at the center of the real fight. All right, Dr. Steve Pachinik, I wanted to get him on a few weeks ago about North Korea, where he's been. I want to get him on about funding Al-Qaeda. I wanted to get him on about messing with Russia. Because he'll give you a big insider, you know, Council on Foreign Relations guy until he resigned. Exposes 9-11 as an inside job. Did the Camp David Accords. He's a psychiatrist and medical doctor. And uh, when it gets to super spooky spooks, he's it. So uh, he's going to be joining us. Co-wrote a bunch of books and movies with Tom Clancy. So Steve Pachenik's coming in on for 30, 40 minutes. Then we got Max Kaiser popping in on what's happening with the bond market. And I need to be more professional. Um, but one side of me says I should settle down and not be so angry because this is not an act. I can barely do the radio show at this point, okay? I mean, I can barely even be here at this point. Because the insanity of them bringing Ebola patients in, letting it spread, not putting them in level four facilities, they're doing it on purpose. They are not inept. And people are like, oh, well, it won't spread that bad. I don't know what they're up to, but it's bad, okay? This is part of some big, nasty war they're about to launch. Just like the Fast and Furious in Benghazi and the open borders and the super viruses out of Latin America and the shutting down the power plants and... I don't even care about money. 
folks. I mean, I, I, I've always tried to have crew and members and build an operation and spend almost all the money that comes in on the operation, and all my employees pay taxes. Now they've got it set up where if I buy equipment and things, it's counted as, as like money I have, and so I'm like paying more taxes. I have to like make more money to pay taxes, not even to get money. This is new. This country's gone. I've got to go hire accounting firms like Arthur Anderson, basically. I've been told by lawyers to play all sorts of games to even make any money. And it's not that I'm even upset that I'm not making any money as I bring in record amounts to run the operation. It's that this government's so evil that in America, folks, if you are truly upper middle class, and you run a, an operation that costs over $10 million a year to run, that they've got it set up that if you play by their rules and you pay the taxes and use the standard you know, CPA firm so you're bulletproof to not be audited, that they just take all your money and give it to the government, basically. They let you keep like 10% of it. I mean, what a screwed up nation. The United States is now 36th in the world came out in a big college study last month for economic and social freedom as well. We used to be number one. We're 36th in the world. Folks, we're not a free country anymore except for free speech. And now the stinking mayor is suing and subpoenaing a whole bunch of churches that criticize the city's plan to basically pay for sex changes and make the public schools have, uh, you know, uh, boys and girls in each other's bathrooms. You know how much trouble that would have caused when I was in high school? I mean, I, I, I mean I'm i not a modest person, but I didn't like going to the bathroom when somebody else was in there. I mean, that's really uncomfortable, to, to be in the bathroom with girls. And it's just these pervert weirdos wanting to mess with us. I mean, can't we go to the crapper and not have women in the day? I mean, I'm getting, this country's run by a bunch of mind control lunatics. I've had it with you people, with you freaks who want to run our lives. You want to dress up like a woman, more power to you. I don't care. But stop messing with our kids. Oh, man, I'm sick of it. Leave us alone. But they crave running our lives. They crave to Rachel Maddow and all these people. They crave telling us two plus two equals five. They crave telling us we didn't build our business as they suck everything out of us. They crave it. They crave destroying this country. They crave it. Bunch of mentally ill people. Dr. Steve Pachang's going to join us. I'm going to try to settle down a little bit. But uh, it's just as incredible all the news we've got to cover here today. Infowars.com. PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life.